Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Oh, the lies. And another one shows its evil head. Turns out President Biden didn't have that so-called little COVID scare while in Vegas. Seems to be a bit more than that. But just as Vice President Harris tries to convince us that you know, Bidenomics was working, and now she's fooling away from Bidenomics. Bidenomics is working. It's a term we're very proud of, I must tell you, because Bidenomics is working. It's working. Bidenomics. <laughs> Bidenomics. And Bidenomics is working. A, lo a loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. All of this is part of our blueprint together for what America can be. This is Bidenomics. Bidenomics. <laughs> that is called Bidenomics, and we are very proud of Bidenomics. Ground beef is up almost 50%. Yeah. So it looks like we're going from Bidenomics to Kamalism. Now back to my regular scheduled program. Now here's the ever so trustworthy fresh secretary, Karine Jean Vial. It's always trustworthy to spread them lies. There's one more thing that came out over the weekend. There's this new Las Vegas police radio traffic that's published by the Daily Beast where officers were racing to secure a hospital emergency room on July 17th. They were under the impression that President Biden was having a medical emergency. What was it? He was not. As you know, the president, when we were in Vegas, tested positive for COVID. We let you all know. And then we flew back here. Uh, outside of that, there was no medical emergency. People are still testing positive for COVID. You remind me of, you know, when we were kids and, you know, we didn't want to go to school. Mom, I got a belly ache. You know, it's always the same excuse. You know, with her or them, it's, it's always COVID. It could be something like, uh, I just heard a report that the president was in an accident and had his right pinky toe cut off. Is that true? No. He just came down with COVID. <laughs> but now, just three days later, August 15th, 2024, come across something from uh, uh, Blaze Media, from the Liz Wheeler Show. And, uh, well, she's got a little bit of information that uh, might make old uh, press secretary's nose grow a little bit longer. Police call logs actually prove that Biden had a medical emergency when he was in Las Vegas just days before this coup that was staged against him. What I am committed to on the show, which I know you appreciate, we have talked about this many times, is challenging every assumption. And part of challenging every assumption is letting the facts dictate the narrative of the story, not coming to these stories with a preconceived idea of what they mean. And so when we look at this next story, I'm gonna show you this video. I want you to listen to this very closely because these are the call logs from when Joe Biden was in Las Vegas. He was supposed to speak in an event. The event was abruptly canceled. Biden was rushed back to the East Coast. And you remember, we talked about this on the show two weeks ago. Charlie Kirk reported just days after that there was a massive cover-up that was happening that Joe Biden had actually suffered a serious medical emergency in Las Vegas. He didn't just test with mild COVID symptoms and he was going back to Delaware to quarantine. And now, because of a Freedom of Information Act request to obtain the actual phone calls between police officers at the time, this story has been irrefutably proven to be true. Take a listen to this. We're on the radio right now, for this is 421. Uh, he's being seen, so we're just kind of waiting to see how this is shaping out. So for everybody's knowledge, he's 421 right now. Uh, we're just trying to figure out what's going on, and we're going to go from there. Okay. That phrase, the POTUS is 421. What does that mean? Well, POTUS means President of the United States. 421 is a police code that means the individual being referenced, POTUS, is either injured or ill. So the, Porta, the POTUS is 421 means President Biden was injured or ill. The story was true. President Biden suffered a serious medical emergency in Las Vegas, and we were not told about it. And once again, we're lied to, and uh, you know, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. 
I'm uh, pushing 60. I'm going to be seeing 60 years of my life here in a couple of months. And I cannot remember an administration that has lied and hidden and demolished or tried to demolish the other uh, side as much as the Biden and Harris administration. It just seems to be getting worse and worse every day. And this woman is wanting you to vote for her to be president. I mean, it's like the backup quarterback had went and uh, Tanya Harding, the, the uh, star quarterback, if she told me the sky was blue, I'd go outside to make sure it didn't change to red or something. I don't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. I mean, the you know, how you know when a Democrat's lying? Their mouth is moving. That's, that is not more true than today with, with uh, the Harris and Biden administration. I don't know, but it seems like they think that the uh, Democrats, uh, their, their voters, have a very short memory because Harris always, you know, she's been saying now, trying to separate her away from Biden and the uh, Bidenomics. Red's up 50% and, and this is up 50% and uh, then on day one of my presidency, we're going to take care of the, uh, Kamala. Your day one started three and a half years ago with your buddy Biden. And then you went spent three and a half years saying Bidenomics is working. Your first day or day one past but anyway uh that's going to be it for today i can you know talk on this thing for hours so i'll shut up and let you go i do appreciate you uh watching my video don't forget to share it with anybody you think you need to see it and enter any comments you like to and hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already if you have already thanks a lot for your subscription and everybody have a wonderful day